Hello everybody, Luke back once again to tell you everything we know about the wildly popular Blood Bowl series with the new Blood Bowl 3 game coming out this year. If you're new to the games, this is a crazy, almost no rule version of American football with a large number of different races to play as, as you not only play football, but you fight against each other with all kinds of crazy weapons and more. It's a lot of fun, very energetic game that has been wildly popular for a very long time. And we really hit it big with Blood Bowl 2. Now the third edition hopes to take everything that made 2 great, expand on it, and offer you something new and fun. We're going to break out everything we know about this game and tell you a whole lot more here in a quick second. If you're new here though, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We're just launching this brand new channel. I would really appreciate your support as we try to grow it into something new and fun at covering the world of gaming news, tips, tricks, reviews, and so much more. So hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It does help because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. All right, everything we know about Blood Bowl 3. This game will include 12 races at launch with more races on the way. Now a lot of new and classic races include orcs, wood elves, dark elves, chaos, dwarfs, and more. There will also be new ones like black orcs. Now, this is just a few of them out there, but each race will have its own stadium, team dynamics, team roster, and cheerleaders this time to help cheer you on. Look for really more in-depth side visuals here, the stadiums, the field, the cheerleaders, and so much more. It's really being flushed out from what we're seeing in the trailers. Word is the game will once again include both a solo campaign where you can build your team, develop them into the best team out there, and a heavy focus on multiplayer. Look for the third edition to include improved player customization, team customization, and new themes. Players will also though, if you're not looking to do a solo campaign, be able to jump in one-off games by yourself or against other people, or join leagues to see how you rank up versus other people in a ranked gameplay. Now it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. There is some big changes coming though. The rules will follow the tabletop version. So yes, if you played the new tabletop version of Blood Bowl, those rules will carry over to Blood Bowl 3. It seems the developers are hoping that this new game will kind of expand on 2, but they didn't just want to do 2 over again, right? If you wanted to, you're going to play 2 with a kind of cartoonish style here. It's not exactly like you're rushing out to get the new graphics pack for Blood Bowl 3. They're hoping that you're going to be looking for something new and different, and that's what they hope to offer here with the third one. There's going to be improved focus on different types of games, including skills, how you do it. The combo mode system is going to be improved, and there's going to be a bit more focus on traditional gameplay for football with wide receivers, quarterbacks, and more being a little bit more important in this game than just running up and killing everybody in front of you. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I have not played the desktop version of it that the new one if you have leave me a comment let me know what you think of that becoming the basis for blood bowl 3 uh, but it will still be very familiar to blood bowl 2 so if you played the older game never played the desktop you're gonna be at home but like all new games they're trying to do something a little bit different here to add something to the game so you're not just looking at a copy word for word of the original game We'll see how it works out. Now, the release date has changed slightly. Originally reported for the first half of 2021. Uh, it's now been reported and Steam is listing it as August 2021. That's not a final say. That's subject to change. And it could be a bit of a placeholder. But it does seem that the game has moved back slightly from its first half of 2021. But maybe not by that much. I think people who are hoping a January, February, March release were kind of being over aggressive considering the game wasn't announced until the third quarter of 2020, which probably meant it was um, close, but you know, we're ready. As with all things in 2020, things got delayed, folks. It's just kind of been a weird year. People working from home takes a little bit more time sometimes. You can't always collaborate the way you want to, and that can delay things. But the good news is it is coming this year. I would be shocked to find it delayed past 2021, and I honestly think this looks like a summer, very early fall release. This is not the kind of game they want to release head-to-head -head versus all the big games that we're going to see this fall. It looks like we're going to have a very massive fall-winter 2021 lineup 
with some games that were originally meant to go out earlier being moved back on top of the games that were already planned for fall 2021. So we'll have to see how this plays out, but we're very excited to see this and other games hit the market. Now, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new about games. Check out our other videos. We cover a lot of different video games like this and we do how to's, playthroughs and so much more. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.